Oh, excuse me, miss. Uh, may I announce you, please? Oh, no, I'm sorry you can't. I'm going up to Barbara Wilde's apartment. She's still at work. I'm Barbara's sister, Doris, and you must be Roy, the day doorman. She's told me how efficient you are. This must be some job, too, keeping out all those people who are trying to get her attention. <laughs> You'd be amazed at the things they say to try to get past me. Oh, I can imagine. I'll just go on upstairs. No. No? Absolutely not. Oh, you wouldn't bend the rules a little for Barbara's sister? For Miss Wilde's uh, sister, I probably would. What, do you think I'm lying? Look, Miss, Miss Wilde has been living in this building for 16 years. I know her mother, I know her aunt, I've never met a sister. Oh, oh, I know that. I, I would have recognized you. I've been away at boarding schools. <laughs> to the best of my knowledge, Miss Wilde is and always has been an only child. Oh, I, I was adopted very recently. Hmm. Well, can't blame a fan for trying, can you? I, I had this Christmas present. Well, the best thing is to send it to the studio, miss. It'll get to her. Okay, thanks. Oh, a uh, Merry Christmas, Roy. Why don't you try to cheer up, said Daisy. Look in the mirror and tell yourself everything's okay. I'm okay. Today is okay. Tomorrow will be okay. I'll try that, said Thornton. He went into his house and he looked in the mirror. He said, everything's okay. I'm okay. Today's okay. Tomorrow will be okay. I'm funny looking. <laughs> Thornton went outside. I looked in the mirror, he said, and I found out that I am more funny looking than I was yesterday. I'm growing funnier looking every day. Now what should I do? <gasps> Look who's here. Now don't tell me you talked your Aunt Siobhan into giving you one of your presents a day early. Mm. No. Not that she didn't try, but this happens to be my book. It was a Thanksgiving gift from Jane. Oh, it sounds very good. Oh, would you like to hear the end? Well, I'd love to, but I can't. Now, I hate to break this up, but uh, Ryan and I have a couple of important engagements. It's the calm, the breath, the still. That happens just before. No! Intensity, passion, story. It's what goes on when the lights go down. The SoapNet original series. General Hospital Night Shift. Thursdays at 11 p.m. Only on SoapNet. Look, I can't do this. Do you love Jason? Families shattered. You had been sharing a secret with another woman. We're over. The truth is coming. If Elizabeth is lying, what is she lying about? Watch General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC. And weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. No matter where you go in life, you're sure to run into a few obstacles. And we can help you get around them. At 21st, we're drivers just like you. That's why we give you extra benefits that don't cost extra. Like our complimentary roadside assistance. 21st includes it at no extra cost. If you break down, run out of gas, or get a flat, help us on the way. Just like an auto club, but without the big fee. So you can say goodbye to paying for roadside assistance when you say hello to 21st. Come on, come on. Everybody, everybody. Let's go, let's go. Another thing you'll say goodbye to? High prices. No, 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 no. Seven out of 10 drivers can save with 21st. Call 1-800-980-7181 anytime or get a quote online in about five minutes. Extra benefits and great savings. So good at you. You're not gonna believe this. No wonder drivers are flocking to 21st. 21st Century Insurance. Drivers just like you. Carol, are you there? Depression is hard. When you're trying to be a wife, but you're always sad. A mom struggling with aches and pains. A friend. A grown-up. Fatigue. Loss of interest. Depression hurts in so many different ways. 
Cymbalta can help. Cymbalta is a prescription medication that treats many symptoms of depression. Tell your doctor right away if your depression worsens or you have unusual changes in mood or behavior or thoughts of suicide. Antidepressants can increase these in children, teens, and young adults. Cymbalta is not approved for children under 18. People taking MAOIs or thyridazine or with uncontrolled glaucoma should not take Cymbalta. Tell your doctor about all your medicines, including those for migraine, to avoid a potentially life-threatening condition and about your alcohol consumption or if you have liver disease. Dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing. Side effects may include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Ask your doctor about Cymbalta. Depression hurts. Cymbalta can help. When will you be back? Mm, not till tomorrow. Well, what are you two doing tonight? Oh, well, we're going by a social club, see Jumbo and the boys, and then we're going to have dinner with Sister Mary Jo. Is she in town? Just for the holidays. Well, it sounds like you're going to have a pretty nice Christmas. Uh, I should be. Well, I'm glad. This time last year, I, I was still drifting. I feel like I've come full circle since last December. I was without Joe. I thought he was dead. I thought he had sacrificed himself because he loved me. And this year, I'm without Joe again, only this time there are no illusions. Yeah. Listen, we're going by the Crystal Palace first to consult with Dee and, and Bob about the best time to give Johnny and May their Christmas present. So you get to vote now. Now, uh, what do you think? Well, obviously, it has to be tomorrow because you two won't be back tonight. And with the air traffic and the mess the highways will be in, there's no anybody's guess what time Frank will be coming in. And since we've decided to save the uh, baby Jesus ritual for tomorrow, we may as well save uh, their present, too. What do you think of that? You want to be here when Grandma and Grandpa get their presents, don't you? Yeah. Well, then there's my vote. Well, OK. Well, we'll go right. We'll go by the Crystal Palace and ask Dee and Bob if they can be here tomorrow afternoon. Okay, kid, where's your coat? Hmm? Oh, it's in Jono's room. I'll get it. Do you uh, know what uh, we're giving Gran and Granddad for Christmas? No. Can you keep a secret until tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're sending them on a trip to the Holy Land. That's where Jesus was born. Would you like to go there someday? Yeah. Well, we'll keep saving our dimes, and who knows? Maybe someday we can. Now, you have fun tonight. We will. You took out a tell Jumbo and Sister Mary Joel that I say hello. And tomorrow, when you come back, there will be even more presents under that tree. What do you think of that? Yeah! Oh, that's what I think, too. I like presents. Will there be any presents for Uncle Joe? No, Ryan. Uncle Joe won't be here. Oh, I miss him. Sweetheart, I do too. But things just have to be this way now. Seven o'clock, that's right. We'll be sure to have the champagne waiting, Mr. Curry. Oh, no, thank you. Goodbye. Bobby, yeah. uh, will you do me a huge favor? Would you call the florist and find out where those flowers are and. Go talk to Coco. He's in the kitchen threatening to quit again. And when the electrician gets here, show him which which one of the trees wait, is. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going to be? I have to go out for about an hour or so. I wouldn't ask if it weren't urgent. Well, I guess I'm not too busy to cover for you. Hey, Jack. Um, uh, Dee, before you go, can you spare a moment? Just that, if you make it fast. Hello, Ryan. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Where's Uncle Joe? Well, I think he's in his office, honey, right over there. So what's up, Jack? Oh, and this is about when the best time to give Johnny and Mae their present. Now, Ryan and I won't be able to get back uptown until tomorrow afternoon, and right. there's no point in expecting Frank before midnight tonight. So we thought maybe tomorrow afternoon would be best. Now, would that be OK with you two? I think we should do it as soon as possible. Like, like tonight, I want to. Or else first thing in the morning before that. Well, if you ask me, run away Man. Well, hello, Ryan. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Boy, you sure do look cute. You look like a little Christmas ornament. You all ready for tomorrow? Yeah. Yeah? Aunt, Aunt Siobhan said you won't be there. Yeah, that's right. I brought you a Christmas present. You did? Well, that was very nice of you. Let's see. Hmm. First, how about a kiss from my favorite niece, huh? <laughs> Thank you. All right, come on over here. 
Help me unwrap this. Okay. Right okay. here. All right. Now, let's see what this could be. Now, it's fairly heavy, so I don't think it's a bow tie. Let me see. <laughs> Boy, you used a lot of tape here, didn't you? Oh, look at that. It's a paperweight. I think that is the prettiest paperweight I have ever seen. And you made it. Mm -hmm. right. This is one of the nicest presents anybody's ever given me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's try it out here. Hey, look at that. It works perfectly. Now, every time I have a stack of papers on my desk, I'm going to think of you, and that is almost all the time. So, how's everybody uh, over at Ryan's? Fine. How's Aunt Siobhan? She says she misses you. Yeah. Well, I miss her, too. <laughs> Their world is picture perfect. I made it just the way you like it. Their lives are anything but. I want you and your daughter gone. If this family is screwed up, it's because of you. Think the kids in the OC are the only ones with issues? Mom. Meet the parents. Pretty people, pretty messed up. Watch the OC today at 6, only on SoapNet. He's right there. Tireless search. Somebody that I love is is missing. Ends here. Todd, you gotta get me where. I'm never gonna leave you. Watch One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at nine on SoapNet. If what Spinelli says doesn't compute, plug it into SoapNet Spinelliator. The blonde one. That's Lulu. The unworthy one. Is Logan. Then there's Stone Cold. Jason Morgan. Crack Spinelli's codes by watching GH tonight at 10 on SoapNet. Your summer day stays with your skin. That's why there's Userin Daily Replenishing Lotion to restore and replenish. Userin. It's skin therapy for all seasons. No matter what your dishes go through, new Cascade Complete with Bleach Hydro Clean Action cleans even residue you can't see. New Cascade Complete with the cleaning power of bleach. The people who made tears disappear are now making knots and tangles vanish too. Johnson's new two-in-one detangling shampoos gently unlock tangles so now they can have shiny, easy to comb hair and a smile too. Word in the tree is there's another Sandy's Drops cookie. Indeed. New butter pecan drops. <laughs> wow. But how do you know it has just the right amount of sweetness? The just right will mean right. Keebler's Sandy's Drops cookies. Let's face it, even with federal student loans and other financial aid, the real cost for a year of college may be higher than you think. A Chase Education One Loan can help with all your school-related expenses, from college basics to basic living expenses, not to mention the big one, tuition. You can get up to $40,000 a year for most college expenses. With a Chase Education One Loan, it's fast and easy, and your check is sent in about a week. Plus, there's no application deadline, no complicated forms, and no payments until after graduation. It's easy. Students can apply in minutes 24-7. Call or go online now for more money-saving benefits. And adding a cosigner may lower your interest rate. Act now, and for a limited time, you'll receive a $50 Visa gift card with your loan. Finally, the money you need for college, fast. Call 888-663-0445 or visit chaseed72.com. This is Jan's new home. And this is Jan after finding out that DirecTV will be paying her mortgage for a whole year. Why is Jan so lucky? Because she called this number before she moved and was automatically entered into the DirecTV home free sweepstakes. Now she's living mortgage free for a whole year. Are you thinking about moving? Call prior to your big day and you could be living mortgage or rent free too. Lucky for you, there's a new winner every month. It's enough to make you jump for joy. Merry Christmas, E.J. Ryan.
<laughs> that was nice, but I'm not feeling very merry. Well, give me uh, five minutes. Maybe three. Uh, less. Hmm? Better? I love a man who loves a challenge. No, but I'm still not loving myself. Oh, you're, you're usually so accurate in your perceptions about people. What? What's the trouble? Oh, well, I had it all planned how I was going to breeze in here and tell you I had the biggest news. Tell me what? That I had the best Christmas present of your life, proof that Barbara Weil is faking paralysis. Well, so much for my brilliant ideas. Well, it's a lovely thought, and I certainly didn't expect that you oh, would... Oh, but I did. It was all so perfect. I had the keys to her apartment, and I was going to go in there and get evidence or hide in a closet and take pictures. I spent two weeks' salary on the, a great camera, and I couldn't get past the doorman. Wait, how, how did you get her keys? Oh, I, I swiped them from her purse. When she was out of the dressing room, I went and had them copied. And then I came back in. I couldn't believe it. She was sitting there. It was like she was waiting for me. I had to get the originals back into her purse, but she was holding onto the purse. Well, I finally did. She never realized? No. And after all that trouble, I run up against a doorman, and the whole thing turns to dust. I'm, I'm so sorry. Look, you didn't let me down. I am very impressed. But what if the doorman had called the police? Oh, well, he didn't seem concerned at all. I don't know. He talked like fans do this kind of thing all the time. I bet he won't tell Barbara. You know, I could try something else. I just have to come up with another plan of action. Now, that is more like the indomitable E.J. Ryan I know. Ah, uh, stop it. What? Plotting. This is Christmas Eve. I don't want Barbara Wilde between us. Oh, Tis the right. season to be jolly and all that jazz. I think maybe a present is in order. Ooh, absolutely. Bring it on. You certainly aren't reticent, are you? Not when it comes to presents. The box is taped shut. Uh, all right. What is this? Well, don't, don't panic. Thank you. Oh. Oh, that's just beautiful. Gorgeous. I love it. Ooh. Let me do this right. Oh, I just, it's fat. I love it. I, I can't accept this. I was afraid of that. Siobhan is a non fur wearer, and I should have known that you wouldn't believe in wearing the skins of dead animals. Oh, no, no, it's not that at all. I think it's very practical. If you wear live animals, they tend to claw your neck. Well, if you have no objection to fur, then what is the problem? It's just that it's too much. Oh, you're afraid that it represents a commitment of some sort? Yeah. Well, in other situations, that would be a valid point of view. But not in this one? No. Mm -hmm. Jane, I can easily buy you uh, fur as a pack of bubble gum. You see, before you came to New York, Faith and I became obscenely wealthy. Now, I've contributed to every charity that I know. I've also indulged myself in many wonderful ways, some of which will be very apparent to you soon. So, even after all that, I have more money than I know what to do with. Well, don't you think you ought to so save some of it and pay your taxes? Oh, now, that indicates a distressing lack of imagination. Oh, I'm, I'm just pragmatic, I guess. The word is spoil sport. I was so inspired when I saw that jacket. I knew that it belonged to you. Well, I guess maybe it does at that. Then why can't you accept it? I can't. Jane. I mean, I can't say that I can't accept it. I love it too much. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm never going to take this off. Oh, well, under certain circumstances, I could regret your enthusiasm, but I'm glad you like it. And I have a present for you, too. Now, it's not nearly so fabulous as your jacket, but it did leap out and grab me. Merry Christmas. I hope you like it.
do that? I am a surgeon, remember? I have good hands. Yes, well, I know, but that's not what I meant. Why, how can you be so careful? Why don't you just open it? Well, I save the wrapping for next year. Oh, very funny. Will you indulge me? You are a ripper. I am an, I am an unwrapper, okay? <laughs> Wait. Okay. Got it. Well? Oh, that's lovely. It's wonderful. What do you think? I think we were both inspired this year. Thank you, Jane. See, it keeps it all smooth and disciplined. Mm. Yeah, well, why don't we uh, drink to that? I have champagne and ice. Oh, terrific. Oh, I think this is going to be the best Christmas Eve I've had in years. Next, it's Shocking Secrets in Salem on Days. Then catch the latest scandals on AMC. Later, things are heating up on One Life on SoapNet. Good cops, bad girls, super couples. Nights are made for days. The past doesn't really matter. Doesn't it, baby? Days of our lives, next on SoapNet. Looking for excitement but don't know where to turn? Go fish. The kids from 90210 know where to find it. We don't even need a TV. We have days of our lives right here. Actually, a little more like Young and the Restless. Watch 90210, Days and Y&R, here on Subnet. Were you this pretty when we were married? Prettier. How do you break up with a woman who wears underwear like this? I've got the world on a string. I'm sitting on You're going to tell her about us? Not everything. Just the part about the sex in the hotel rooms. Marla! What are you guys talking about? The women in our lives that drive us absolutely crazy. God help us. <laughs> Can your sleek hair weather the weather? Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine Leave-In Conditioner. The fortifying system with fruit micro oils makes hair five times stronger and five times smoother with all-day frizz control. Garnier Fruit Tea Sleek and Shine. Garnier. Let the sun shine the sun shine oh, oh, oh. Triple blade Vic Soleil. Three blades and four let sunny colors. For smooth, beautiful skin. Vic Soleil. At last, Soleil is available with replacement blades and a unique extra-wide soothing moisture strip with aloe and shea butter for a flawlessly smooth shave. Big Soleil with replacement blades. Feel the Soleil. What are those? Dibs, bite-sized ice cream snacks. They're good. Makes you wonder what they're gonna do with all the cream-filled sponge cakes out there. Cut! Do dibs instead. Poor Rod, he was in such a state over that line. He was terrified he was going to break up when the camera was on him. And when they taped it, he finally managed to get through it by keeping his eye fixed on my ear. <laughs> and he was so relieved to get through the line without laughing that he took the nearest exit straight into the closet. <laughs> and he came out after a few seconds and said, where is my hat? And the whole place cracked <laughs> up. Except for Barbara Wilde, of course. She has no sense of humor where that show is concerned. How about that or much of anything else? Mm, yeah. I, I really love Rod, though. He's a professional, but he, he knows when to clown around. I have a feeling he kept everybody's spirits up when that show was on the skids. I mean, that night we had to stay there till 2 a.m. He was the one who kept everybody going. He's very protective of all of the cast, you know, even Barbara, although they don't always get along very well. You know, he was the only one to recognize me from the party. He recognized you? No, relax. He just saw me at the Crystal Palace. And when he mentioned it, I said, uh, yeah, I, I work as a cigarette girl and a waitress in between acting jobs. I mean, this is only New York. A lot of the people who wait on tables are out-of-work actors. You seem to be thoroughly enjoying your job. Yeah, I really am. I'm gonna miss it when it's over. No, but I'll be glad, because that'll mean I'll have proven you didn't paralyze Barbara Wilde. I think that calls for a toast. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh, empty. Think we should open another bottle? Oh, yes. This is the most important toast. What now? I am not answering it. Oh, but you must. 
A man has no legal or moral obligation to respond to his doorbell. Oh, I can't stand it. You have a trouble with opening doors and gifts. It's because I want to know everything. That's what makes me a good reporter. Oh, please. Hello. Hello, Roger. I came to wish you a Merry Christmas and to say that... Oh. Hi, Jane. Hi, Dean. To, uh... To say what, Dee? To tell you how much I appreciate your helping me when Orson hurt my shoulder. I was really terrified, and you were so nice and gentle. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, how are you doing now? Well, actually, pretty frantic getting ready for New Year's Eve. It's a big night for us, and we're going to set up the disco floor again. But at least there's no more big parties before then. The last two turned out to be such disasters in one way or another. Oh, did you mean my shoulder? Yes. Oh, well, it's much better, thank you. It almost was worth it to get... Uh, to get rid of Orson. Creepiest person I think I ever saw. The way he hurled me around that room, too, it's a wonder I didn't break my back or get killed or paralyzed. Sorry, Roger, I... Anyway, now you'd hardly know it had ever been dislocated. I'm glad to hear that. Me too. Isn't it a little warm to be wearing a fur jacket? Oh, July wouldn't be too warm. I can't stand to be separated from it. It's very pretty. Thank you. Is it new? Yeah, it's a Christmas present. Oh. Well, Roger always did have wonderful taste in furs. He gave me the most beautiful fetch when I, we... Well, Merry Christmas. Gosh, she's got him giving her fur coats. Well, I'll fix her. Just show me the nearest mailbox. I felt really sorry for her. You're kidding. No, I can't help it. I mean, despite the fact that she's really hard to get along with, and I know she doesn't like me, she, she's like a little girl. Okay. That's no excuse. Just forget Dee. She's had her chance. She's had dozens of them. If she's having a case of hurt feelings, then she has nobody to blame but herself. Back to champagne. Where were we? A toast. To me, getting the goods on Barbara Wilde. Here, here. Another one. To you and to me. To us. Will love conquer all? Or are the residents of Salem destined to be miserable? Find out who's pursuing who and who's left brokenhearted. Days of Our Lives, next on SoapNet.